Uh, CJC is a community justice centre. It provides help for any court users who don't have any lawyers. And what we do is we provide them with the social and legal assistance. And what we do is we reach out to the court users uh, across all three divisions, meaning civil, criminal, as well as family. And what we do is we provide support in terms of giving them information in terms of how the court processes and procedures are. Because a lot of people, they don't know how it works. And especially if you don't have a lawyer, then sometimes in order to navigate through the system, um, simple things like if you want to apply for a divorce, how do you go about doing it? What's the paperwork required? If you're going through a criminal case or if your family member has been charged in court and you have to say, for example, pay for bail or bail is extended, things like that. So we will explain to them what it means. What we do is we provide that service in terms of the information within CJC's help services, which we have over at the state courts building and the family court. But we also have volunteers. We work with students from NUS and SMU to be within the courtroom to provide that information to court users. The one unique uh, feature of CJC is its collaborative approach you know, in terms of uh, resolving issues for um, litigants in person. We actually work very closely with law society okay, in terms of uh, providing pro bono lawyers and in terms of um, organising legal clinics. Basically, this scheme uh, provides a litigant with a recommendation of what to do next when they are faced with a legal issue. Okay, and this service is free with no appointment needed for urgent cases. I think access to justice also includes you know, uh, addressing the social needs of uh, litigants in person. Uh, many of our litigants in person actually come to court, besides just having their illegal issues, they also face emotional and social issues. The food bank of Singapore, which actually, actually provide uh, free food rations to those who can't even afford a packet of rice you know, when they come to court. I'm not working, I'm staying at home. Actually, uh, I got a son who's eight years old, uh, studying primary two, struggling to look for a job, actually, for past one year plus, because due to my family issues and all that. Nine years, I live with my husband. Initially, it's a lo love marriage, like, actually, you know. The part I find out, he's not only alcohol, he's also a womanizer. It has been become like worsened when he started raising hand on me. He even th tried to strangle me to that until I I thought I almost died. You know, even when I was like pregnant, also he kept my stomach. I was like very depressed and everything. So I thought I don't want to live in this. So then I wanted to throw my hand and I so wanted to jump down. Somehow I got caught before I jumped down. Then they brought me to IMH. I'm going through depression now, taking. Meds, medication. So uh, I was deciding because when I went to the court, then they suggested I should take a PPO against him. Because if like to go through divorce, like they asking us to take lawyer. But for me, firstly, I don't have a job, and I couldn't afford to take a lawyer for myself. The CJC uh, suggested actually whether if I want to go and stay in a home to get away from my husband's violence. Uh, they told me that they can arrange uh, some hostel for me to stay and they also gave me some ration like rice, uh, like, um, like some canned foods and stuff like that. Um, very grateful to them. I now buy books, there are no money, there are no money. 是帮你帮我开单我才能够去做起初我是很认真的那边独立大家不认识我所以我用我自己的真诚跟他们讲我的眼睛看不到他们很热心的帮我买那么在那边工作我相当快乐因为很多人了解我们这个残疾人工作真
我太太做一个母亲的，她做一个太太的，她说我有骂孩子、打孩子，孩子打回我是对的。今天我能去法庭遇到这个一位先生，一个助理，他是法庭的工作人员。他说：“安哥，他听完我的故事，他说你有资格申请软基金。”我说：“我不敢去申请。”他鼓励我去，但我去了，遇到一个很好的 Mr. 马拉先生。他也听完了故事了，他马上软住我十四块。他说：“有什么事来找我？我可以遇到很多不幸的人，比我更不幸的人。他们还是这样活着，所以为什么我不要活呢？” I'm a single mom of four kids. I'm suffering retinal pigmentosa, which is tunnel vision, and it's a night blindness. Okay, so totally I can't see at night or in dim lights. Everything. Uh, I'm on the advanced stage, so initially there's no cure right at the moment, but I'm going through treatment. In terms of my daily routine at home, I'm on my own. I'm using memory now, so. Where I put my things, what I need for the day, what the kids needs for the day, is all routine, is all system, and discipline. I was married for seven years. It kinds of uh, to me is a very uh, bad marriage I had. Kids go to school when he got money. Kids don't go to school, drop out when he got no money. We eat when he got money. We don't eat when got no money. So. I did not give up on him, cause I give him that particular chance of seven years. Even right after I didn't know my, I was pregnant with my 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 last son, and I gave him that particular last chance for to for him to change, you know. Right up until he was eleven months, still nothing. So I decided. The judge uh, asked me to go to second floor and meet this officer. Because in that particular time, I wasn't getting. I came down twice in a month, but not get anything out of him. Because since he was in jail and his current wife is not, I can't go through that process with her. So yeah, the judge sent me to the uh, to the social worker there, and uh, they helped me with two hundred dollars. I'm grateful. It kind of, kind of uh, let me stretch that financial. For that, for this month, I have a dream. Everyone has a dream. Even every child also has a dream. Don't, don't kill their dream, you know. But I'm grateful that even that particular inch of visual, even sometimes just shadows of my parents' face, of my siblings, of my friends, of my children's shadows. I'm grateful, because right now whatever it is, that's a blessing. It was a difficult time for them also to adjust because、uh, there was issues when the kids come into the picture. They are distant, and I was emotional because, example, fetching them from school, they won't hold my hand. Going up the bus, they won't sit with me. So when I started to like. Feel, I start to ask, why aren't you holding my hands when you are walking with me? Are you shy? Are you embarrassed? The answer is, my friend is being. 